And it's kind of like uh, looking into a water droplet. Really, really neat. And you can just add dots of them and it would kind of look like raindrops. What's up guys, Eric here from Decasode TV at Galaxy Unpacked and this is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And I want to highlight some of the coolest new features that Samsung's releasing with this phone. Now, every year Samsung releases new features on phones, but this is one of the first years that I'm super excited about a bunch of different features. So I'm just gonna highlight what I think are the coolest new features on the Note 10 today. Now we're gonna start with the S Pen. So the S Pen now has six axis motion sensing. That's because it has a gyroscope and an accelerometer in it now, and that allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna get the Note 10 set up on the table here, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you can do with a new feature called Air Gesture. So Samsung's added something called Air Gestures, and what it does is it allows you to use your S Pen and draw gestures to do a bunch of different things on a Galaxy Note 10 device. Now this is the smaller version of the Note 10. Uh, the Note 10 Plus, I'll get to that a little bit later, but it works the same on both devices. So all you have to do is press the S Pen button and do one of these gestures. So if I want to zoom out a little bit, I hold the button and I make a circle in a counterclockwise uh, manner and it zooms out. If I want to zoom in, I make a clockwise circle and it zooms in. If I want to switch to the rear camera, I hold the button and swipe up or down and it switches to the rear camera. So you guys can't see me now, but if I go ahead and draw that same clockwise circle and hold the S Pen button down, it's going to continually zoom until I let go of the button, then it will stop zooming in. Again, if I hold the button and do a counterclockwise circle, it's going to start zooming out. And as long as I hold that button, it's gonna keep zooming out until I let go, and then it's gonna stop zooming out. If I wanna take a picture, I just click the button once. And if you ever forget what the gestures are, you can just hover over this little icon right here and it'll tell you what all of the gestures are right there. So you guys saw that uh, I switched camera, zoomed in, and the last thing I wanna show you guys is switching mode. So I'm gonna switch back here to the front facing camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now you can see there's a bunch of modes right here. If I wanna switch back and forth between those, all you have to do is hold the button and swipe across, and now I switch to live focus. Hold and swipe again, I've switched to night mode. And then obviously swipe the other direction, and you can switch back through all of the other modes. So there's a quick look at all of the air gestures you get with the camera. Now you also get air gestures with YouTube. All right, so now I've jumped over to the YouTube application. I'm gonna show you guys how air gestures work for YouTube. So if you press the S Pen button once, you're gonna pause the video. If you press it again, you're gonna start playing the video. And if you wanna increase the volume, you press the button and raise your hand up, and it's gonna increase the volume. And if you wanna decrease it, you press the button, bring your hand down, and as long as I hold that button, it's gonna keep decreasing volume until it's all the way down, and then I can let go, and it'll stop adjusting the volume. If I swipe to the right, it's going to skip to the next video, and if I slide to the left, it's going to go back a video. And again, if you hover over the icon, you can see all of the different options right there. And as you can see, you can also double press the S Pen button to go to the next video as well. Hey, this looks like a Tech with Brett video. That is a Tech with Brett video, awesome. All right, so we're taking a look at the live focus video. Now, it actually does work with the front facing camera as well, uh, but I have a thing it's not gonna work quite as well. This is just like a standard blur, so the things behind me are gonna get uh, a little bit more blurry, and I can actually uh, dial that down too. So if I tap that, I can dial that all the way up to seven, which is the max, so that kind of maximizes the blur and I can dial it all the way down to zero, which is no blur at all. Now you can't change those dials while you're filming, so you kind of set it up beforehand, and then you start filming, and then it adds the effect in. Now this one's called Big Circles, and uh, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on, but like everything around me by my shoulders and by my head uh, turns into kind of like a bubble shape thing. It's, it's kind of interesting. I don't know how much I'd use this one. I'd probably just use the uh, regular blur effect even more. If I tone it down a little bit, uh, let's see if that changes much. Yeah, no, it's just, it's more like an intense blur is kind of the way that this looks to me. This next one is uh, color specific, so only I'm gonna be shown in color. Everything else is gonna be black and white. At least that's the goal. And again, remember, this is the front facing camera. This does not have the time of flight sensor. This is all software that's doing this right now. So uh, pretty impressive stuff to be done with just a single camera. As you can see, um, everything behind me, for the most part, uh, stays black and white. And then if I, uh, let's see here, if I tap this, I can scale that back up 
uh, a bit more and yeah interesting so when you scale it up uh, it, you do get some more artifacting and stuff like that um, but anyways I just want to show you guys what that mode was and the last one this is like a it's called glitch and it makes everything behind you look like it's kind of glitching out um, kind of an interesting mode I'm not too sure what I'd use this for um, but it's it's neat nonetheless here is a rear-facing video with the blur live focus effect. I'm going to move around a little bit so you guys can see that. And I'll go through the other modes really quickly as well. All right, here we are again now. This is the big circle effect. Uh, as you can see, it's basically just blurring out the, the edges around me and everything behind me rather than getting blurred out. And it's kind of turns into this kind of bubbly circle thing. It's kind of right around the perimeter of my body. Um, but uh, again, this is rear-facing camera, so this should be working a little bit better than the front-facing camera because it does have that time-of-flight sensor. This one is color point, uh, definitely one of my favorite ones. Makes everything in the background black and white, and then you just show up in color. It works pretty good, all things considered. Uh, obviously there's people behind me, I'm sure you can see, uh, are occasionally popping into color. Uh, but overall, I think it works pretty well. I think if there weren't people behind me, and it was more just like inanimate objects, I'm at like a park, I'm outside or something like that, I think it worked better because I think what it's doing is face detection, so everyone's face uh, is gonna get illuminated with color, and then everything that's not a person uh, doesn't get lit up with color. I'm kind of guessing that's how it works, uh, but I won't know for sure until I get a lot more time to play with this. And here's the last one. This one's called a glitch. Uh, and again, just kind of glitches out things behind me. Um, pretty interesting one. It's more of like a, an artsy kind of one, I guess. Uh, I'm not too sure when I'd ever use this one. The black and white one, definitely. The blur one, definitely. Uh, but this one, I don't know. It's, it's neat to look at, but I don't know how many videos I'd actually record like this. The next feature I want to talk to you guys about is called AR Doodle. This is made possible by Samsung's time of flight sensor right on the back right there. And what it does is it allows you to draw in 3D uh, with your video camera, kind of walk around uh, all of those different things that you just drawn. It's pretty cool. I'm going to demonstrate that for you guys right now. So obviously you can see I'm in video mode. I just have to tap the doodle button right there. And now it's asked me to find a face, but I just want to draw anywhere. So I'm going to tap everywhere. All right, so I've tapped everywhere. Now I can draw anywhere I want. So if I start drawing, you know, like let's say, let me use a different pen here. Let's use this one. So this kind of looks like um, balloons, like uh, the fun balloons at the kids' place, like yeah, yeah, the animal balloons. That's what it looks like. There we go. This kind of looks like animal balloons. Anyways, I just drew high there, and I can get closer to it, go right past it, and then come back, and it's still going to be there. Uh, and I can pick from a number of different pens. This one is super cool. This is one of my favorites. So this, uh, it basically creates, uh, uh, it's hard to describe, but it's kind of like uh, looking into a water droplet. Really, really neat. And you can just add dots of them and it would kind of like raindrops because it creates reflections around that uh, part of it based on the real world, which is actually really cool. And it does also take into account other things that are drawn as well. So if I can get to the right angle, you can see that there's a reflection of the different letters that I drew, the H right there. You saw that reflection on that pen, uh, on that mark as well. And we've got this one here, which is kind of like a neon, and I can move forward and backward with it. And then if I come to the side, you can now see everything off on the side there. So this is a really neat uh, feature. It's definitely a lot of fun to use. Things are tracking pretty well. As you saw, it's not totally perfect, but again, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. And as I come over here, you can see, again, wow, you know, wow, just coming around the different sides of this is very impressive. Coming around to all different sides. And then there's, there's my camera right there. So let me go ahead and draw a circle around my camera, see if I can see how this works out here. There we go. I drew a circle around my camera. Now obviously the AR stuff is going to stay on top of the camera. Uh, it's not just going to disappear behind it. It's not that, quite that advanced. Uh, let's see here. If I turn around though, all my stuff is still there and I can go right back over and, and take a look. So this is really impressive technology and definitely one of my favorite new features on the Note 10. The last super cool new feature I want to talk to you guys about is a 3D scanner. Now, this is actually really cool because it uses that time of flight sensor on the back to help make a 3D model, like a real 3D model of any object you want. You just walk around the object like this, kind of filming around using Bixby Vision, and you can create this 3D model, and you can even uh, send that to a 3D printer and then print copies of whatever that is. So if you're big into 3D printing and things like that, you can now create models of whatever you want, copies of whatever you want, super easy uh, with the Galaxy Note 10. Now, I believe this is only with a Note 10 Plus because 
I'm pretty sure you need that time of flight sensor. Uh, I'll find out for sure and then I'll uh, post down in the description below uh, or in the comments um, exactly which models do and don't get that feature. So those are my favorite new features on the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like it if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see my upcoming Note 10 videos. And while you're at it, don't forget to smack that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when the video drops. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.